Hi guys. Um, so yeah, we did the desktop version of our small uh, website and now we will uh, create the responsive version. Um, so yeah, don't hesitate to tell me, by the way, in the comments uh, what, you, what you think about this kind of videos, if you like it, if you have any questions, any comments. Uh, even on, on Twitter, uh, on the um, um, yeah, don't hesitate to to reach to reach me to to tell me if you have any question, uh, ID, and and everything. I'll be happy to to talk to you guys. So yeah, so we did the desktop version. Uh, I'm really happy with how it's looking, even though we don't have any effects. So for the moment, it's looking a bit still, but. Uh, the responsive should not take too much time and we will be able to play around with uh, GZAP to add some smooth scroll and, and everything and maybe maybe why not let's why not create a second page and create some cool transition using Barba.js and to really try and play around really so yeah let's go and let's create the, the responsive um, so to do that, I need to set up my style guide for the tablet version, and I will need to. Um, I'm going to need to go back to the free responsive as well to add my tablet um, values. So let's start by uh, changing the style guide. So uh, my H1 is this one, so it's 16. And so I can say one REM because we know that one REM is equal to 16 pixels. Um, my text is now 16 pixels and my H2 is 95. Yeah, 95. Let's select this. 95 divided by 16. And by the way, I could uh, let's say call to 12. Oh, call. And the then yeah, looking better. One REM. Oh, that was a mistake. A paragraph one REM. Okay. Uh, my large text is now forty nine pixels. All right. Let's say three. Uh, I don't need to change that. Maybe I need to change the padding left and right. It's 23. Let's see if I need to change that. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. But maybe I need to change this. Yeah, the gutter width is now 16 pixels. So Let's change that because it's going to make a big difference. It's going, yeah, it's half that value. It's 0 0.5 REM because it's one REM divided by two, so 0 0.5. Let's change that on my row element as well. Minus. Uh, oh no, my bad. Let's change that on my row element. Minus 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5. And I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, yeah, and to set up the fluid responsive on tablet, we are going to do exactly what we did for the desktop version. So this is my tablet max width. I'm the, the design was made on a width of 991 pixels which is the tablet max width. And the mean width on Webflow for tablets is 768 pixels. So I can take my website. And actually, uh, until now, what I did is that I scaled all my website, but I could only take this element and scale it down so that, it's so that it takes the same space that on the max width. I don't know if it's clear, but you don't need to bother scaling everything down. If you have a very, a very long page, you can just only take the elements 
you care about. All right. Um, so on my maximum width, my element is 95 pixel, and my, on my minimum width, it's 73. So I can go back to the fluid responsive, uh, click on that. What did I say? 95, yeah. Sometimes I'm talking and I'm not even thinking about what I'm saying. 73. And we can see that the, the value are changing, by the way. If, uh, so I can take this. Now let's see if I scale this up. Yeah, now it's working on tablet. All right. So we can design our page. Um, <laughs> The image is looking weird. All right. So it's taking three uh, let's delete that and let's use that. So it's taking uh, three or even we can say maybe four. Let's say four. So I can say call MD4. And it's the exact same way of working than on desktop, but instead of using LG, called LG something, I'm using MD, and the class is over uh, overriding. It's writing. I don't know how to say that actually, but we we can see that if I say call MD four, bam! Now my element is four columns wide, and this one is two four as well. So I can say call MD four. And yeah, it's working. Uh, actually, I, I think I need to change that. Or oh, let's change the Z index of the the header as well. Uh, let's say fifty. Um, yeah, needs to be. I don't think. Yeah, I did not change the 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 link size on my my style guide so that was my bad uh, let's say actual links or links all right and it should be okay yep okay uh, so let's change the height of the image uh, actually 130 let's start by changing that uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, and the image at the height of four twenty. Four twenty divided by sixteen. And again, I think that the image is looking weird because, yep, I think mine is something like this. But it's okay. Maybe let's just change the height so that it looks a bit better. Yeah, something like that. Uh, 200. Let's change the padding right there. Okay, and um, 
<laughs> so yeah, let's change the hero wrapper height. Maybe I think if I do something like that. Yep, looking good. Looking good. Yeah, oh, but, uh, the cat CC. Uh, it's. I made a mistake actually, and the image I think was good. It's just that I did not change that. I need to say call md6. And now I think that if I change the, the height of the image, it should be okay. So if I say 4, 17 divided by 16, yep, yeah, and it's working. Let's say 26. Uh, yeah, when it was weird that it was not working because using column and rem and uh, free responsive is supposed to make everything exactly like on the design and so um, and so um, yeah, it was weird that it was not uh, it was not working so yep let's change that to something like that well, what made me realize there was a problem is that if we if we look at the design the d is positioned a little bit before the image and we did not have that uh, when I was uh, designing it and so uh, yeah as you can see the the D is exactly where it's supposed to be uh, I think that the line is going to be the, the end is going to be exactly there yeah almost exactly pixel perfect so that's really a way of working that's really pleasant Let's say 1.2 maybe. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Um, because it's really easy to make something exactly as the design on Webflow. So yeah, so let's move on. So now this is taking four and four. So I can just go to my element, to my call and add my my class call md4 same thing for this and now it should be yeah we can see that it's positioned exactly as it's supposed to be and no matter what the width of the the screen is um two four six seven so this one is not moving this one is not moving so let's check the height so for us yeah, let's say 455 for the height of the, the image. 455, say 0.4. And we're good. So this is good. Maybe let's change the padding. Yeah, that's kind of hard to see from for this because again, we are going to play with the, the scrolling animation. so. Um, but I think we can change this. It's 200, so it's a little bit less. All right, um, so let's change the height 210, 160. Same thing, so 140. So it's the same thing for this one. And this one is now 275. And you can see how fast it is to do the responsive version using this method as well. Um, maybe I don't have any space. It's looking a bit. Uh, it's looking a bit too tight, <laughs> if I can use that word. Okay, so let's do the header. Now we are good. Um, 
Ah, yeah, no, the, the column is the same, but, uh, but the size is not. And now we are good. Yep, we are good. And we just have a problem right here. Was Gavin my two underline? Yeah, I need to do something. Uh, footer. What's the name of the class? Footer text underline. I can do something like that. Okay, and we're good for tablets. And I will see you for the for the mobile version. Bye.